Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over how to deploy a Python Flask app onto Heroku. And for those of you that don't know what Heroku is, Heroku is a platform where we can host web So in order to get started, you'll need your Flask app, a GitHub repository with the app, and a Heroku account. So go over to heroku.com, and if you don't have an account, sign up for one right here. And it's free to sign up also. And once you've signed up, you're going to need to install the Heroku CLI, which stands for Command Line Interface. And we're going to be using the Heroku CLI to deploy our app. So to install the Heroku CLI, once you've signed up, you're just going to search for Heroku CLI on the web. And then the first link that pops up right here, devcenter.heroku.com slash article slash Heroku hyphen CLI. Go down and then install it from here, depending on your operating system. And once you have installed the CLI, you want to go to your app directory in your terminal and then um, run a few commands. So in order to deploy with Heroku, we're going to need to install Gunicorn with pip. So just do pip or pip3, um, depending on your operating system, and then just type in install Gunicorn. And this will install the Gunicorn package. And since I already have it installed, it says requirement already satisfied. Then you're just going to do pip3 or pip, depending on your operating system again, um, freeze and then a greater than sign requirements.txt and in case you were wondering what this pip3 freeze command does um, this will basically take a list of all the packages that you have installed with pip and then freeze them into one file which is this requirements.txt right here all right so next we need to create something called a proc file and a proc file is basically a file that heroku uses um, in order to deploy our app so in order to create the proc file we're just going to do touch proc file and make sure it has a capital P and then once you hit enter it should show up right here then what we're going to do is web since this is a web app and then we're going to type in gunicorn so this is what um, we installed gunicorn for and then we're going to type in the name of our app file so mine's is app.py so I'm just going to type an app and then app all right since this is an app if your um, main file name is for instance main.py you'd put main but since my file name is app, I'm just going to put app. Okay. And once we have this done, we can move on to creating the app and all. Now, if you already have a GitHub repository for your app, you can just skip this process. But for the ones that do not have a GitHub repository for their app, or basically a GitHub repository to store their code for their app, um, this is what you're going to do. So you're going to go to github.com slash new. And then you're going to um, put the name of your app as your, as the repository name. Now, since this is just a tutorial, I'm just going to put Flask for Roku Deploy. You can set it to public or private for the visibility, but I'm just going to set it to private. And then you're just going to press Create Repository. And once you press Create Repository on your terminal, you're just going to do git init. And then do git add dot or a period. And this will basically add all of our files into our repository, OK? And then we're going to do git commit first commit so we need to basically have some sort of message for our commit and once we have that message we're just going to hit enter and as you can see it, it has created all these files and then next we're going to um, set the branch to equal to main so git branch and then hyphen m main and then do git remote add origin and then i'm just going to copy this uh url right here so right there Okay, and then I'm just gonna do git push hyphen u origin main. And once I do this, all of our code in our app will be pushed over to this GitHub repository right here. So once it says 100% and once this command has been executed, you can just go to the repository and as you can see, we have all of our app files right here. All right, so I've just cleared my terminal and now since we have pushed our code to the repository, we can just create our Heroku app and push the code to Heroku server. So to do this, we first need to log in and to log in, just type in Heroku login and it will ask you to press any key to open up the browser. So I'll just press return. And as you can see, it has this login page over here. All right, so once you're at this login page, you can press this login button. And for some of you, it may ask to fill in your cre credentials um, to log in if you have not logged in yet. And if you have logged in prior to this step, it'll log you in as soon as you press the button. So if I just press this, you can see it just logged me in. And since I'm logged in, we can basically create our app and deploy it from this terminal. Now to create our app, we just need to do Heroku create and then your app name. So I'm just going to do flask hyphen tutorial hyphen deploy. 
And once you run this command, it will create the Heroku app. All right, so once you have created the app, you can just run git push Heroku and then the git branch that you want to push. So over here, if we go to GitHub, you can see that the code is in this main branch. So I'm just gonna type in main and then hit enter. And this command will basically deploy our code to Heroku and this will take a while. So I'm just going to speed up the video. All right, so once it says your website's name and deploy to Heroku, that means that our app has been deployed and we can just run Heroku open to view our app. So right here, as you can see, we have our app. So as you guys can see, my website has been deployed to Heroku. And if you guys experience any type of error, just run Heroku logs, and this will show any logs for your app. So if there was an error deploying, you can run this command and it will have the error listed there. Now, just to show you how this works, I can refresh this page on the website. And if I run this command again, you can see that a get request was sent to slash and it shows at what time and um, what day also. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and I hope that this video helped you deploy your Flask app. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Also, I apologize for the late upload. I've been super busy with school, but there will be more videos coming soon. So stay tuned for those. And as always, have a nice one.